text is one of my favorite components in SwiftUI. It looks simple at first, but it handles a significant amount of logic internally. It has some really useful capabilities that are not immediately obvious. And one of my favorites is the ability to format values directly inside string interpolation. When we initialize a text view from a string literal, SwiftUI treats it as a localized string key. In addition to enabling automatic localization, localized string key supports interpolation of values and lets us provide an optional format parameter, which is intended for formatting dates, numbers, measurements, and other types of data directly inside the text view. In this video, I'll share some great use cases for it, and I will also show how we can use a different parameter inside localized string key interpolation to display dates that update dynamically without writing any extra logic. The first example I want to show, and one I think a lot of people aren't aware of, is formatting lists. When interpolating an array of strings inside a text view, we can apply the list format style and specify the list type. SwiftUI will turn the array into a grammatically correct list and automatically include a conjunction like AND or OR based on the list type we choose. The format, including the conjunction, will be adapted to the user's locale, so we don't need to add any extra logic to display list data in a natural way. Displaying measurements in line is another case where interpolation with format styles is especially useful. Instead of converting units ourselves or building strings manually, we can just interpolate a measurement value and use the measurement format. SwiftUI will take care of converting and displaying measurements using the most appropriate unit. We can set the value in whatever unit we prefer, like meters in our example. And SwiftUI will automatically display it in miles for users in the US, or kilometers for users in New Zealand, without any extra logic on our part. We can also control how the unit is shown, with a short abbreviation or a full name. It keeps the code clean and the result is always localized and consistent. Dates can be formatted in two different ways. To show a static date, like the time of an event, the format parameter can be used, just like with arrays and measurements. But if we want to display dynamic information, like the time left until the event, we can use the style parameter instead. Applying styles like relative offset and timer will result in an auto-updating date without any additional code. The relative style that we're using in our example displays the date as relative to now, and the text view automatically refreshes. When displaying dynamic times like this, it's also a good idea to apply the monospace digit modifier to the text. It makes sure that all numeric characters take up the same widths, so the UI doesn't jitter as the value changes. These are just a few examples of how we can format data directly inside a text view using interpolation. It keeps the code simple, handles localization automatically, and works great for displaying structured or time-sensitive information without much effort. If you are interested in learning more about how text and other core components work in SwiftUI and how to use the framework effectively in your projects, check out my book, SwiftUI Fundamentals. It combines what I've learned from using SwiftUI since its release and working on its APIs at Apple to give you a solid understanding of the most important aspects of the framework. For more resources on iOS and macOS development, visit our website at neilcoalition.com and make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future videos.